Alright, so today my hair was a little bit more tangled than normal, so I decided to do a DIY Selexi gel pre food and my whole concoction just whole concoction just contains flex seeds, so I'm just using this pot and I'm not really measuring my measurements. I'm just pouring it in the, into the pot thinking um, this is as much as I need and I just poured water on it so yeah these are bad measurements but I mean you can use uh, measurements by sight which is what I like to do so the flexi actually boiled in like five minutes so I was able to bring it back super quickly and at first I used this strainer and the flexi I just wanted to show you it looks like oatmeal so I put it I poured it on top of this strainer that I got from Walmart and also the flexi brand that I use is also in the description below and I got it from Amazon so I poured it on top of this strainer thinking that it would strain the gel and keep the seeds up top and just to clean my pot I use this Ajax soap detergent, uh, dish detergent, um, because it was hard to, you know, clean it. So, uh, the flaxseed gel did not seep through the strainer at all, so I got out a pair of stockings, and I placed that stocking leg over the bowl and as best as I could, and then I just poured whatever I had from the flex seed gel and the flex seeds themselves into the bowl and you see they are just sticking together they are not letting go um so yeah uh then I <laughs> so I pull off the stocking leg and you see the gel is still not budging it's just staying together as one so this is the tricky part. I had to squeeze so hard to get the flexi gel out. I'm thinking maybe I didn't have enough water in the pot. I think that was my issue there. But uh, here, I just, I don't know. I was making the okra gel was way faster, not faster. The okra, actually the okra I used was frozen. But using, um, I'm sorry, using, I'm just messing up. <laughs> But uh, making the okra gel was way easier because the okra gel was just strained through the strainer and it wouldn't be this thick. Like this is very thick gel and I don't know if it was great as a pre-poo. I don't think it's the best option when I know that I like to make okra gel or that I also have other products that have been created as um pre poo or detangling uh agents so yeah here i'm just squeezing it out so hard and it's so slippery so it's so hard to get it out through the stocking and it was just a little bit of a mess that i didn't like but i got through it <laughs> For the video and I finished it out and then uh, after that I just felt like this this was it and this was really cool looks like a kidney so yeah <laughs> so I added some more water to the mix actually because I felt like if it was so hard to squeeze through the stocking I needed to add some water so I added water I mean like I needed to add water because I knew it wouldn't come through the spray bottle to pre poo and it would be very hard to pre poo my hair so I added in water and whipped it up and I feel like I should have added a little bit more but I didn't and then I uh, I'm just like patiently trying to get the gel to drop into the spray bottle and not like glop off to the side like uh, you would think it would but this is uh, it kind of stayed together for the most part and um, most of it came out of the bowl and then at the end I just scraped the rest of the bowl down most of it came out so that's good and it kind of looks like not a little bit kind of looks nasty <laughs> but uh, I got it all out for the most part and then after that I also put some dish soap in this bowl because it, it was hard to clean without any soap well, I mean, you should clean all your dishes with soap, but I'm, I mean, I'm just letting the bowl sit because that gel was really hard to move. So I put it in the spray bottle and now I'm here in the shower and number one thing 
for detangling for me is to just drench my hair with water I'm low porosity I have type 4 curl patterns so my hair needs water before I do anything to it uh, I need a water definitely in this instance because my hair was super dry from the week and I just needed to start off my process with water of course just drowning my hair with warm water and I also squeeze the water into my hair because I'm low porosity my hair pores are not opened up so I have to open them up by squeezing warm water into them so that they can receive whatever I'm about to give them so before I do any detangling, I'm going to put the rest of my hair up in some quarters or sections. And now I'm going to begin spraying it onto the back section of my hair. And then I try to rub it into my hair. And I just felt like, okay, this gel is not as conditioning as the okra gel was. The okra gel had um, some good conditioning properties. But the Flexi Gel compared to the Okra Gel just wasn't up to par like the Okra Gel. Now what I could have done is added olive, extra virgin olive oil to the spray bottle with the Flexi Gel so that it would be a little bit more slippery and more conditioning. But um, I just wanted to try out the Okra Gel by itself. I mean the Okra Gel, the Flexi Gel by itself. But it just wasn't there um, by itself so it would I would need to add my extra virgin olive oil um, I'm using my Felicia Leatherwood detangler brush to detangle my hair because it was very um, tangled um, and I guess for the most part the flexi gel was great at providing slip but it wasn't conditioning as I thought it would be since so many people love Flexi gel, I thought it'd be great as a pre coup, um, but it's not one of the best I've used. But it is an option, and it is a cheap option because there was a lot of flexies in that bag that I showed you guys in the beginning. So I uh, definitely recommend flexi gel as a pre poo but i think you should add in something that's conditioning like extra virgin olive oil or one of your favorite moisturizing 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 <laughs> oils not a sealer oil and moisturizing oil um and you can look up the difference between those oils on google or youtube so that you don't put the wrong oil in your spray bottle and you don't get the two mixed up so normally I just detangle my hair in sections and these are like the back of my hair looks like it's in four quarters and I just do that out of habit um, the middle part right here where I'm detangling is actually my 4B hair and that's the hair that's the most kinkiest so I really do take my time up there even though this is set up I actually do take my time um and then this is the front actually the front of my hair is a little different a little looser i can actually detangle the front of my hair almost as one section on one side um but sometimes i just section it off in half and i actually move faster through the front of my hair when i'm detangling so that's um a little uh fyi about my hair <laughs> So I'm on the other side and I'm just finishing up and I'm glad this is almost over y'all. Yeah, so this brush is really great. I encourage you to get one if you can. It is a black owned company. Also, it's sold by a black owned company. So check it out if you can. And guys, I'm just showing you my hair with the gel on it before I rinse it out. And this gel actually, it doesn't have any smell or anything. So I'm kind of tempted to use it as maybe a wash and go or a braid out and test it out as a styling gel. So stay tuned for that video. Um, so I just rinsed out my hair with warm water afterwards because after this pre poo I'm going to go in with my shampoo, no, my cleanser, which is going to be a clay mask, and I'm posting that on Thursday. So stay tuned for that video. Subscribe, turn on your post notifications for that. All right, and now in a few seconds, I'm just going to show you. I'm just making sure that all the gel is just rinsed out. 
and now this is how my hair looks after it's rinsed out it's detangled and I'm ready to move on with the rest of my wash day again I linked the actual flexi brand that I used down in the description I got it from Amazon check out more DIY videos and tutorials on my channel and I'll see you guys all in the next video Bye -bye.